Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the concert that I just attended at uh, Tag Summer Stage in Horseheads, New York. Um, <clears throat> back on July 5th. So, their lineup was Lita Ford, Skid Row, and Motley Crue. Well, Vince Neil, Motley Crue. Um, so... My mom had bought the tickets, and I got off from work and everything, and um, when we got there, uh, one of my friends came to me because she was closer to the stage, and her husband didn't feel like coming, and then, um, so she invited me to sit up way closer to the stage. Um, <clears throat> So I did that, and let me tell you what. First of all, I didn't like the setup of tags as much this year as I did um, when Wiz Khalifa was there, as in, like, the audience part of it. Um, like, they're... <laughs> There wasn't all these chairs and you blocked off and all this extra st stupid mumbo jumbo stuff. Anyway, um, Lita Ford, first of all, for being 60, she still rocked it. Um, she was really good live, great live actually. And she looked phenomenal. She looked absolutely incredible. Like, she... It looks like she still works out, like, 10 hours a day. It's ridiculous. Um, <clears throat> and her... Backup singer, or guitarist, slash singer, duo singer, whatever you want to classify him as... First of all, let's give major props to him because he sounded absolutely brilliant live. He sounded incredible. His vocal power, his vocal range, like all, I just loved all of it. Um, he can really sing. He can belt the shit out of a tune. <clears throat> and him and Lita Ford uh, singing back and forth in different parts and everything, absolutely loved it. Um, I thought that the whole her interaction with the crowd was really great. I, I, she looked so happy and so passionate to be there. And, um, first of all, I just want to say that this was my first rock concert that I've been to, like rock, rock. Um, I've been to, I'll just name off all the people that I've been to see so far. Uh, Finger 11, the all American rejects, Britney Spears, Cher, um, Wiz Khalifa, when they were at TAGS. Um, rap is really not my thing, so I actually went because I was given a free ticket by one of my friends. Um, that being said, uh, even though it's not my music, that I listen to, because I listen to everything besides rap. Um, but Wiz Khalifa was really good live, so props to him. Anyway, <clears throat> um, so I love really diverse music other than rap. Um, like, Britney is pop, Cher is everything. Um, um, Oh my god, the All American Rejects are like contemporary soft rock. Uh, I don't know, they're they're kind of like a little bit of everything in between. Um, Finger Eleven, they're soft rock. They're not. I wouldn't classify them in anything else really. Um, anyway, so this was my first real you know, rock, rock concert, <clears throat> classic rock concert. And, you know, Lita Ford did absolutely excellent. She is amazing. Um, 
So she was the first act to go out. There was three acts that night. And then Skid Row was the second one. And um, Skid Row was probably my favorite of the night. Um, I don't know because I, I really do love Lita Ford and um, her guy singer that she was singing with. Um, they were both incredible. Um, it's just that I know more of Skid Row's music. So I think maybe I enjoyed it a little bit more because of that. I love I could sing along and I knew more of Skid Row's music and they were great live. Um, so that combination, you know, the whole and I, you know, their stage setup and everything and their interaction with the crowd was really great and everything. <clears throat> um, so yeah, uh, absolutely love Skid Row. Absolutely amazing. Uh, so, Sebastian Bach was not there. I don't know what the whole story behind that was or anything like that, but the guy that was the lead singer, um, he was out, he was really incredible live. He did really great. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yep. I love it. He, he had the right voice, the the right stage presence, all of it. Um, so I really, really loved the whole Skid Row Skid um, section. Really loved it. Um, <clears throat> so they were the second uh, performance of the night, and then Motley Crue came out. So I'm not going to say anything mean or anything like that. Uh, listen, I grew up listening to the music that my mom grew up listening to, um, or that she, you know, 80s music anyway. Um, I, out of the three acts, Molly Crew was not my favorite. <laughs> um, so... And this has nothing to do, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna say critique non musically, right now. He spit so much and everything; it was absolutely disgusting. Like all over the stage, anywhere he could, it was really disgusting. Um, but I'm gonna go back and forth with this because. He did have the stage presence, Vince Neil did. He had the, the stage presence and everything, okay? He got the the crowd amped up. Um, he thanked the crowd for standing in the rain because there was a delay because there was lightning, because it was stormy outside and everything. So, um, you know, he was really, really cool. Um, he was very... That's something that all three of them had really good in common is that they were all very interactive with the crowd and everything, and I really liked that. And I absolutely loved the setup of Motley Crue and everything. I just... <sighs> vocally, it was not my favorite of the night. Um, I'm not saying that he was terrible or anything like that. I'm just saying that... I don't know. It just was not my thing. I uh, maybe have was expecting too much, maybe, because I do love uh, Molly Crew. Um, so maybe I had a picture in my mind where it, it was completely different than how it actually turned out. And um, it just... Uh, I don't know. Molly Crew is not my favorite. Um, that night, uh, they didn't, I don't know, wasn't my favorite, but they did have really good, uh, fan interaction, which is really great. They had great stage presence. Um, you could tell that this was not their first rodeo. Um, and, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. 
other than they weren't my favorite that night. But overall, it was a really, really great concert with the three acts and everything. And I thought that all of them had excellent stage presence. All of them knew what they were doing. Um, and yeah, they were really good. It was my, it was a great first rock concert experience for me. So huge kudos and props to you guys. Um, I definitely would go see all of you again. I hope that it was just an off night for Motley Crue. Um, but I would definitely go again to at least see if it would be just a tad bit different the second time around. Um, but I do think that it was a really great lineup. I, I do think that they went really great together and, you know, the fans loved it. And, um, I just... I don't know. I walked away with a great experience for our first rock concert. So um, I just wanted to put that out there because I do review videos and everything. And for anybody who might be on the fence or who haven't won yet, um, Tags is a good place to go. Um, I'm really glad that they are hitting up local places like that uh, to put on their shows and everything. Because not all of us can afford to go to huge arenas or stadiums and pay the prices of those tickets and everything and to get really crappy seats and everything. So, again, uh, kudos on the event organizers and for the rockers to come out and rock out um, rural New York. <laughs> Uh, in comparison to their city gigs and everything. So um, I thought that you guys were awesome and can't wait to see them again, actually. So um, if anybody else wants to concert, just let me know what you thought about it. Um, maybe I am being too harsh about Molly Crew. Um, I have nothing bad to say about them. It just, I hope that next time it goes differently because I do plan on seeing them again. So. Um, until next time, guys, have a great day. And make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up.